Best day of my life. Best day of my life. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Today's objective is uh, obviously we've got Martin Rothblatt here. Uh, we're doing her checkout and familiarization with the Ecro. And we're also validating some tunes made on the squeals for both drag and some adjustments made to the tuning of the front casters. We'll do a quick roll call. Aaliyah. Sure. Sweet. So we're joined this morning by Martin Rothblatt, who's the founder and CEO of United Therapeutics. They are our first customer. Um, and Martin met Kyle four years ago and, and has been supporting him and, and this, this company and this quest ever since. Um, and today she's going to fly with him in this electric aircraft that together they helped design. Um, in a minute we're going to be finishing up our pre-flight inspections and loading batteries and we're going to push them out and she and Kyle are going to fly this aircraft. And uh, we're really excited to see this happen. Her flying this aircraft is validation of, of that faith that she's put in us and the hard work that the team has, has put forward. Nice little She's just an amazing person. She's shown me how much she cares about people and about doing the right thing for the planet and something she's always said to me is you know there's there's always time to do it right she's never been like let's do this let's get this done she says specifically there's always time to do it right so let's just take our time let's learn it the proper way what piqued my interest in urban air mobility is the work we do at United Therapeutics in flying organs from one place to another. When we make an organ, it has to be used within hours, like at the outset, 12 hours. The only practical way to get the product to the patient who needs it is by flying. As we continue to help more and more people with uh, organ transplants, it has to be gotten there by flight. And if we do this all with regular aircraft, we're going to be making a humongous carbon footprint. So this is what got me thinking about electric aircraft, uh, what they call now like, you know, EVA, electric vertical aircraft, as a solution to being able to deliver our organs without a carbon footprint. I mean, this is an awesome day for, for a lot of people, but for me as one of our flight instructors, and somebody that's flown with her um, and understands her passion for flight and her passion for people and the planet to see her able to fly an airplane that she was instrumental in the opportunity to build this thing it's it's, it's awesome you're not fighting a machine through the air instead you're you're almost like surfing the air it's also aesthetically very beautiful anywhere like your angle of vision goes whether it's to the beautiful booms, you know, or the, the fuselage, the, the way that you have like, you know, an almost 360 degree, you know, field of vision, certainly more than 180 degree field of vision, you're like, you're, you're sailing through the air in glass. But here we came up with this idea, Kyle sketched it out on an iPad, and the same shape, the same dynamics, the same, you know, aircraft that he had sketched out on, a, on an iPad here exists in person and I'm flying it through the air, I'm banking it, I'm, I'm, I'm pitching it, I'm climbing, I'm taking off, I'm landing. It's like, holy Christ, can life get any better than this? You get it. Fun, fun, fun. Ah, man, best sense of achievement and accomplishment in my entire life. Uh, that that wow. would be saying a lot. Wow. That is, wow.